up and I'm going to close with this prayer of repentance and a, a prayer asking for healing that I'll just pray over all of us. And I always get nervous when some ministry leader or clergy member wants to pray a word over me or a group about repentance or um, because I might not agree with what they're praying. So what God told me was just agree with the part you agree with and say you don't receive the part you don't agree with. So I don't think there's anything too controversial in this prayer. But I just want to let you know that just because I'm speaking it over you doesn't mean that you need to receive it if you disagree with anything. And it's just basically agreeing together that we struggle in these areas. And if you truly believe that you don't, then you can just say that to Lord, say, Lord, thank you that this isn't one of my struggles. But let's go to prayer. And I just ask you to focus on the Lord. And really, you've been considering your own heart and the, the people around you. And we just bring this before the Lord and Heavenly Father. Your word tells us that where two or more are gathered, you will be in the midst of us and anything we agree upon according to your will, you will surely do. So today we come together to grow in our understanding of you and to celebrate the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for your love toward us and your grace toward us, even when we sin and gossip. Help us, Lord, to see the sin for what it is. It is hurtful hateful and evil it brings your wrath your word is clear gossip is both evil and harmful the scriptures caution us to take heed to ourselves and to guard our hearts we understand that it is so easy to fall into the sin of gossip and talk behind someone's back lord we confess that we've sinned in this area and we humbly ask for your forgiveness for every careless and hurtful word we have spoken against another person Today, we choose to repent and turn from gossiping about other people. We acknowledge that gossip is wrong. Gossip is sin. Gossip harms other. And gossip separates us from you, our Lord. Forgive us, Lord, for every time our gossip has wounded another person and show us where we need to make amends. Forgive us, Lord, for listening to gossip instead of walking away or shutting it down. Forgive us, Lord, for people-pleasing and for being enslaved to a fear of man, for not speaking up in defense of others when their character was being slandered and harmed. Strengthen us, Lord. Make us bold as lions in these areas, we pray. Lord, we choose to restrain our lips from gossip, to discipline our minds from sinful and judgmental thoughts, and to avoid the company of others who practice gossip. It's our desire, Lord, to be as wise as serpents and as gentle as doves, to increase in the knowledge of your word. Help us, Lord, to grow in our love for you so that your love is reflected in everything we say or do. Help us to build others up and not tear others down. We thank you, God, for godly friends who will hold us accountable in this area. We thank you for exposing the ways we've been deceived and have been used by Satan because of our gossip. We declare through the power of the Holy Spirit that we will no longer speak, listen to, or repeat malicious gossip from this day forward. We will no longer empower the evil spirit behind the sin of gossip, nor spend time with those who do. We ask you to bless and heal all those who've been harmed by gossip and the demonic spirit attached to it. We ask for freedom and deliverance for all of those who are trapped in the sin of gossip including ourselves. We ask you to reveal and heal our insecurities, our wounds, and our selfishness so that the sin of gossip might be uprooted from our souls by the power of your Holy Spirit. We ask for strategies to steer conversations away from gossip, and we ask you to empower us to heed your warnings as found in scripture. We decree and declare that we no longer will participate in the sin of gossip and we endeavor to stay away, we will endeavor to stay away from those who practice it. It is our prayer that our words would be pleasing in your sight and reflect the fruit of your Holy Spirit. We give you all the glory and pray, believing and receiving in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen.
Thank you, folks.